Hey Vikes, it's Aiden here. And I'm Carson, and we caught up with Bushnell to ask about how the baseball team's doing. Morgan Common birthday walk will take place on Sunday, April 22nd at 6.30 at the SHS track, pre-registered by April 12th. You can still attend the following ACT prep classes if you didn't pre-register, you can pay $10. All the classes run from 6 to 8 p.m. Use the SHS front door to enter. This month is Distracted Driving Awareness Month. With the latest statistics, it shows that motor vehicle fatalities are up by 6% since 2015. Over 40,000 people were killed just last year. Every de death is preventable. Stay off your phone and keep your eyes on the road. All seniors without discipline points are allowed to speak the commencement. There are three different types of speeches, the welcome, the graduation attendees, or the closing. Talk to Mrs. Fernandez for more information. The Topeka Way to Work Employment Program will offer work opportunities for up to sophomores, juniors, and seniors this year. For more information, go to SchoolG to your class group on the job board. Tonight is SMS pad night. Drive through or dine in from 4 to 8. A portion of proceeds will benefit Seaman Middle School. Students interested in taking driver's ed classes over the summer should enroll now. Cost is $175. Contact Mr. Tinsley for more information. Class starts June 4th. Juniors and seniors wishing to bring an outside date, please pick up those forms from Ms. Vonner in the front office. Deadline is returning forms Tuesday, April 10th. After go tickets will be on sale today through Friday before school and at lunch. Tickets are $10 per person and includes entrance to the lock-in, t-shirt, breakfast, fun and prizes. All t-shirts will be delivered at lunch on April 12th and 13th. Now over to Aiden with the sports. April 4th, Seaman High School will be holding a blood drive in the multi-purpose room from 9.30 to 2 o'clock p.m. Book your appointment at esavealife.org. Get a permission form for Mr. Riley at W17 and turn it in by Monday. Must be at least 16 to donate. Donate now! Honey, where's my SVTV? Don't vape, because you will get lung cancer and you will die. Don't vape in the classroom. Don't vape in the bathroom. Don't vape in the parking lot. Just don't vape, promise? Vaping may seem harmless, but it can lead many lasting effects, such as breathing problems, bloody sores, weakened immune system, and insomnia. Majority of teens don't know that most vape contains nicotine, which can lead to a potential drug addiction. Okay, everybody take some candy. No. <laughs> All boys swim members are meeting with Jocelyn State Championship sizing Thursday at 1.15 p.m. in our ring in Mr. Tuck's room. SHS Auxiliary Dance Team trials will be Saturday, April 7th, beginning at 9 a.m. in the multi-purpose room at SHS. If you need to schedule an alternate trial time, contact Coach Juzy Dees. JV Track has a home meet tomorrow starting at 3.30. And we caught up with Coach Bushnell to see how the baseball team's doing. The Seaman baseball team won in regionals last year following an 18-5 season. After losing in the quarterfinals in state, they look to make it even further this year. Now we're just trying to work and get better as a team, and then during the season we're just going to try and do as well as we can, get as many wins as we can, and hopefully make it back to state like we did last year. Well, I think we've got uh, lofty expectations. We've got high goals, and uh, making it back to the state tournament would definitely be a goal for us. Uh, we've been there 14 consecutive years, and if we can make it 15 this spring, uh, you know, I, I'd take that right now if you could tell me we'd have a chance to play at Wichita State at the end of May. So that's kind of what we're setting our sights for. The baseball players are understanding that team chemistry could be an important factor that ultimately gets them far in the postseason. Uh, the coaches really push us working as a team, kind of coming together and everyone doing their part. Um, well, there's, there's really good chemistry between the team. We all uh, know each other really well. We hang out outside of baseball, and uh, we just play really good together. There are several committed upperclassmen on the team who are constantly working to improve themselves and others around them. We'll have uh, seven seniors that have, uh, that have invested quite a bit of time and effort 
over the past three seasons and this being their season, senior season. So, you know, we look forward to them to, to be the leaders of our program, but at the same time, we've got some underclassmen, a lot of those juniors this year that, that played and contributed at the varsity level as sophomores. So, you know, we just got to speed their learning curve and uh, hope that they're able to make that next step and, and uh, lead us back to the promised land. The junior and seniors, we have experience returning and hopefully we'll be good enough leaders for the underclassmen and push them to get better as well. Despite the many conflicts they will face this season, Coach Bushnell advises his players to push through and stay on task to achieve their ultimate goals. Yeah, I just think it's a mindset, it's an attitude, uh, just, you know, it's just the everyday. It's the structure and the discipline that you have to have. And, and uh, you know, we've always been a, a team that's kind of prided ourselves on on unselfish play and, and sacrificing of your own self for the betterment of the team. And, and that'll be no different this spring. And uh, I think the guys have always bought in and, and I, I don't think this group will be any different as we, uh, you know, as we prepare them uh, for the rigors that, that we try to put them through in, in a daily, on a daily basis through our practice schedule and, and through our games throughout the course of the season. So we're looking forward to the challenges. Looks like they're gonna have a great season. Not a Carson with the weather. Hey Vikes, let's check out your weather today. Today's gonna be 43 and tonight's gonna be 36. Over the weekend it's gonna be snowy, but on Saturday we got highs in the 50s. Today is Eddie Murphy's birthday and World Party Day. Now back to your anchors. That's the news for the day, Vikes. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.